Today I'm going to go over some of the more basic features of World of Warship Legends, starting from the login screen. Here you can see content that's been added to the game, any changes they've made, and if there's any special goodies that you can get. From here as well, you can get links to their Discord, Reddit, Facebook and Twitter, which if you're looking for information or you have questions on the game, they're great places to go. You can also get a link to this update's patch notes, which is a comprehensive list of everything that's been added in the last update. When we hit play, you may find that your main menu looks different to mine, but as you play the game and your count level goes up, you may find that that content slowly gets released to you depending on your account level. From here you have a few options. If we start with play, you can see all of the game modes that are currently available to you, starting with Versus AI, which is 9 versus 9 players versus bots, Standard, which is 9 versus 9 players versus player. Depending on the update, we might see Ranked or Arena. Details will be in the patch notes for any restrictions in those game modes. From the ships section, you can see a list of all of the tech tree ships available for each nation. From the commander screen, you can see a list of all the nation's commanders and the ones that are unlocked to you. From campaign and missions, you can see this updates campaign, how far through you are and how far you have to go, as well as missions for this update too. From the bureau, you can complete projects for either some of the biggest ships in the games, like the Montana, or shorter campaign, sh shorter bureaus for items like camos, crates, or commander items. From the store, you can see all of the offers that are available not just for doubloons, which is real money equivalent currency, but for in-game currencies too. From here, you can also open your containers. You can see your friends list. See your service record, which includes statistics for how well you've been doing in the game based on game modes. Change your settings, and if you hit Y on Xbox or Triangle on PlayStation, you can open this menu from any screen, which shows you a quick breakdown of the campaign, any bureau missions you have going on, and any inventory items below. From here, you can also invite players to your division. If we go to port, by going into any game mode, you can see the ships that are available to us right now that we own. In the top left, we can see what game mode we're in, and along the top, we can see our currency items. Starting from left to right, we have the gold, which is doubloons, which is real money value currency for special items. Silver, or credits next to it, which are an in-game currency for purchasing things like ships. Global XP, which is similar to ship XP, except globally available throughout the game. Next to it is Steel, which is only available in special events like Ranked and Arena, and used to buy rarer items or ships. Next to that is whether or not you have a basic or a premium account, and how many days left if you do have a premium account. After that is any unopened containers you have, and if you hold Y, you can go left to see either conversion rates or a quick way to get to your containers from the port screen. You can also invite people to your division from here. Below your name, you'll see the current campaign, your progress through it, whether or not you have the Admiralty backing and how many days are left. You can also see a breakdown of up to the two Bureau projects that you could have. On the left-hand side, 
you can see the name and type of ship that you have, in this case Colbert Legendary Cruiser, how much Elite XP or Ship XP you currently have on that ship, the red star is whether or not you have any bonuses available for playing this ship either once per day or once per update. In this case, the daily XP bonus of one and a half times. Underneath that are the upgrades you currently have equipped on the ship. You can go through here to equip new ones. Underneath that is your ammunition, consumables, boosters and camouflages. You can see what ammunition the ship has, the consumables they have, and if there is a three dot underneath the consumable, there'll be alternative choices. Any boosters that you may have that you can equip from here. A cosmetic flag and a non-cosmetic camouflage. Underneath that you can see the commander you currently have equipped to the ship. And from here you can change commanders. And you can also edit the commander's perks from here too. If you found this video useful, hit like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe. Thanks for watching.